Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a good end of January. It's snowing here in Ontario, Canada. And I'm hoping that the groundhog doesn't see a shadow next week. <laughs> I did paint a cute little groundhog. He doesn't have his sunglasses on, so that's a good sign. And that can be found on my Patreon and my membership, if you're interested. So today, we're going to talk about art books. And the inspiration that I get with looking through them. And what types of books I like to get for inspiration. Uh, I've put them in different categories. I have them as art books from the artists, so their particular style. Also, how-to or tutorial type books. And um, then just odds and sods of books that may not totally be art related, but they still give me inspiration. So there's never a time where you don't have something that can um, spark that um, creative need to draw or paint or whatever it is you are creative in. So I think I'll start off with uh, how to's now there's a ton a ton hey Joan good to see you a ton of books of how to's and depends on your level or what you're working in um, I like all areas <laughs> that's a big problem with me because well I shouldn't say it's a problem I just love everything I love all mediums uh, I think the only medium I have not tried believe it or not is oil I have not oil painted I'm thinking probably once the weather gets warmer and I can open my windows then I'll give that a go I'll probably have to talk to Lena about that <laughs> And Lena is Miss Linux 2010, and she has a channel. It's fantastic. So go check her out. And uh, maybe she can guide me through that. We are all learning. We're all at different levels in our creativity. So don't be hard on yourself if you're learning, because that's all about all about the process and that's what creativity is all about the process not necessarily the end goal um so let's start off with these so i have uh, a mishmash and these are only just a few i have a ton but uh, these are most relevant i guess or most uh, a lot of them are ones i've had uh, in the past few years So this one I thought was really cool. I really liked her style. And a lot of these artists have either YouTube or they're on Instagram or they, they might have their own um, website. So this one I, I really enjoyed her book and her website. I think she does have classes and... I liked it because if you're an art journal person, like I am, all her art journal pages have some type of meaning behind them. So, and they're very colorful and she, she uses mixed media and it may not mean anything to a stranger looking at it, but it means something to her. So when she goes back and looks at her stuff, she knows uh, what that day was or um, that page is representing a, a certain feeling maybe. Um, so check this out. I, I really, if you like a lot of color, um, they're not like, 
you know, um, realistic drawings or anything. It's for everybody, depending on, hey, Lena, there she is, Miss Linux 2010. I was just saying that I'm going to try oils in the spring when I can open my window and I'll probably be calling on you. <laughs> we'll have to do a stream together and you can uh, guide me. I was just saying, we're always learning. We're never too good or too old to learn. And that's the fun of art, is learning. <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, it could be. could be a very interesting. Uh, uh, you might get too frustrated with me and uh, <laughs> leave. <laughs> so... These are just, look, I love these. They, they're not um, necessarily proportioned or uh, the right type of um, colors for what she's representing. It's just whatever. And she even has, you know, bits of, uh, it looks like magazine type of things. Now, she goes into her reasoning of why it's health and mental health, that type of thing. But if you're not interested, I know a lot of people aren't interested in hearing about mental health and all that stuff. But that's not what this is, um, book is totally about. It's about how to create these. It just gives you a little input on what you need material-wise and um, you don't have to be a, a fantastic artist to do any of this. This is very relaxing. It's in your journal. You don't have to show it if you don't want to. And it's the process of doing it that is the uh, health benefit. As you know, um, for, I don't know, hundreds of years probably, Art has always been a coping mechanism for people that are sick or uh, have uh, stress in their lives. So this is a great book to get if you want some ideas. Even if you don't want to read it, it's eye candy. Um, beautiful, beautiful uh, pages that she's done. And see, here's a boat, but it's a collage. So a collaged page in paint and paper and sketching and whatever doesn't have to be uh, making sense like a boat in the middle of the page um, sailing on top of this lady <laughs> it doesn't make sense but it might have a symbolistic meaning to this person that did it so beautiful beautiful pages so I thought I would show you. And then she does give you an exercise to do in this book. So step by step. She explains, you know, why she's doing what she's doing. How to add your text. Different ways of, of uh, adding text. Uh, images, where to find them. Or if you want to paint your own. Uh, using your old images from your old journal pages, too. It's a fantastic book. I really enjoyed it. And uh, where's the, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I think I got this on Amazon. It's $27.95 US. Um, and that's the name of it. Now i got to find a place to put all these. Um, the next book I really like, if you're into botanicals and that type of thing, a lot of people want to know how to draw and paint botanicals. This is a really nice book. Uh, I'm a gardener, so I love anything to do with flowers. And this is basically a watercolor. But it's about observational um drawing it gives you the you know the basics the tools that type of thing but then it also gives you a three-step type of thing um, and it gives you your palettes so 
this might be for a little bit more advanced person um, that has done a little bit of, of uh, drawing themselves and then they can uh, go into this type of book. Or if you just want to try it, why not get it? So there's some beautiful flowers in here and, and lots of uh, diagrams to go by. It's a really nice book. If you're into the flowers, or you can, you know, pick your own flowers and try drawing it. Just try. You don't have to be showing anybody, but you got to try. And that's how you get better at what you're doing. And that applies to anything. Expressive sketchbooks, developing creative skills, courage, and confidence. This is the Helen Wells book. Now, you probably know Helen Wells. She's on Instagram. Um, she has a lot of color and, and patterns. Uh, so if you're just wanting to be creative and just uh, paint or doodle type of thing, this is a really good book. She also has classes. So it's all about color and design and um, drawing. You can draw if you want. Um, she gives you the tools, what's needed, what type of uh, books that she has. And then... Um, so she talks a little bit about, um, you know, how you talk to yourself. So you're, you're in a critic and how to calm that down. Um, how you can do writing in it, a little bit of doodling and a little bit of color. Uh, mixing different things together. So a little bit of drawing and, and um, mixed media. Even some uh, different papers. There's there's no limit to what you can do in your in your sketchbook or your art journal. So this is a good book. Also observation of of taking the shapes, not necessarily drawing it like an illustrative botanical. She's using it as contour drawing. So finding something and do a contour drawing of it is kind of what she is doing, I find, in her books um, and in her work. She uses those for different um, pattern making, that type of thing. See, even she draws a, a broccoli. <laughs> there, contour drawing. And it's all in one color, so there's there's no shading or anything like that. It's just um, pattern, See, like this. And I really love that because that could be used also um, in bits and pieces of your art journal, or if you're doing um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, journal every day type of book and you just want a little bit of a decorative thing in it then you can use bits and pieces of this so you can go back and photocopy parts of your work and use them in new parts of your new journal that you're doing so that's expressive uh, sketchbooks and i think that's a really good book also Uh, this one here, if you're into watercolor, you can get pretty well any watercolor painting book in any subject you want. It's a very popular medium, um, especially now. Uh, I think it's probably the biggest I've seen in a long time of, of uh, people getting into watercolor. And there's various degrees of of levels of, for watercolor. So if you're just dabbling, that's fine. If you want to get into more um, art that you would sell, that type of thing, more illustrative, then these books are, are great. So again, it gives you all the little 
what you need, photographs, that type of thing. This one's by um, Terry Harrison. Um, now, he passed away a few years back, but you can still get his books and his paintbrushes. He does have some really nice paintbrushes, I must say. And he does step by step. So uh, actually a really good book for learning how to do uh, different types of uh, watercolor. This one's, again, on water and the sea and that type of thing. But And um, not a lot of uh, text, but just enough to, to let you know how to do it. It's not a lot of reading, which I like. And he gives you a lot of tips on how to do things a little easier, which I like. So these are good. He's got quite a few of these books out. Um, let's see. Yeah, he's got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 books, I think. Probably more. I'm not sure. but And you can get those on Amazon, too, I think. If not, he does have still a website where his wife and son, I think, still run it. And um, you can still get his books there. Uh, let's see what chat saying hey missy good good to see you i love to paint not very good so been wanting to see her live oh that's that's awesome i'm just showing my books right now but i have a ton of videos and i'll be doing more uh you oh thanks joan I've seen her paintings. That's why I watched to catch her live. I've actually painted three pictures from classes, but would love to be able to do my own and just keep keep doing it. That's that's how you learn, and that's you, it's a matter of getting comfortable with your um, painting, and then you'll um, you'll just suddenly take off. <laughs> you'll find something you like. Now this, I love this, uh, Claudia Nice. She is a fantastic watercolor and pen, so ink and wash um, painter. I love her work. She has some awesome books out too, different types of things, more na nature related. Um, but beautiful, beautiful work. And again, getting started, that type of thing. Um, sketching with pen, different ways of uh, using pen for shadows, um, painting. And she gives you all kinds of little tips and tricks of doing special effects, that type of thing. So you could actually, um, I think she does have step outs. Oh, she does show the color she uses in a little bit of a step out. So um, she does tell you what she's doing. I love this book. And you can uh, see the little um, demonstration, well, not demonstration, but little things back here, how she did it. She explains it. It's beautiful, beautiful watercolor. And just a bit of pen work. Not much, but a little bit. So these books I love. I love her work. Um, she does have videos too. Uh, now you have to buy them. I don't know if she's on YouTube or not. But lots and lots of different uh, books if you, you can get. Um, yeah, I have a few of hers. Now, let's put this one. This is an old book of mine. I've had this for a long time. If you are interested in drawing portraits, I highly recommend this book. Hey, Dot. 
Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And this is basically how I learned in school <laughs> many, many moons ago. Um, but it's never gone out of... Um, it's basically your number one way of drawing, um, as far as I'm concerned. And it's easy to read. There is a lot of reading in it, but it's very instructional type of reading. It makes sense. Gives you the reasons why he does what he does and how it will help you. Um, it's an awesome book. So it starts off from the beginning, you know, the basics. And then goes into the muscle and then goes into why your, um, your mouth is formed this way and how to make the, the uh, shadows. It, if you understand the way the head is formed by skeletal um, form and muscle, it makes it easier to draw. I know a lot of people don't want to learn that, but if you're really serious, you'll understand it a little bit better. And it is very much easier to draw once you understand it. And this book helps you with that. It's just different um, bone structures of women and men, and he tells you what to look for, why why is it hard to do like a baby's face? And he tells you the proportions that are different and, and what they don't have compared to an older kid and a younger kid. So awesome book. Highly recommend it. I don't know if you can still get this. You might have to go to the second hand. Um, it was a fairly expensive book uh, way back when. So... Again, Andrew Loomis, good book. <sighs> okay, then here's another painting imaginary if you're into more, um, what would you call it? Abstract form of painting but you still want to kind of represent something, this is a really good book. This is, again, flowers. Well, uh, free download. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Lena. That's great. Thank you. And this is a really cool book. I like it. Uh, I'm not really into the full abstract. I, I just can't wrap my brain around it. I like um, rep what do you call it? Uh, I like it to represent something, not just a um, streak or you know, um, I know abstract does have its rules as far as composition and um, structure and color and that type of thing um, but it just doesn't ring joy to me and if it doesn't give you joy then you're not gonna do a good job and so I don't go into that but I do like this type so it gives you uh, a bunch of um, step by steps in here too I believe and some little bit of, uh, that's cool, alcohol-based ink reveal. That's cool. I like that. Might have to redo some of these again. It would be fun. Maybe on Thursday. <laughs> I like this. This is cool. You could use paper in your... Um, 
on your canvas or whatever you're going to be putting it on. I think it has. Let's see. Tools. Patterns. And they're kind of wonky, but they're I like them. So maybe we'll do one of these. I think they're kind of cool. I think I did one way back a few years ago. I don't even know where it is. Yeah, that's a I think this is a step out. This one here. And oh, I think I was like this. I think this is the one I did. That's that's kind of uh, reminding me of it. I can remember doing the doodles. Uh, links are the whole book, so I'll have printer paper. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's royalty free now. Awesome. You like the botanicals, Dan, um, Devin? The galleries. So awesome book. Maybe we'll try that. And that's by Sandra. And it's called Painting Imaginary Flowers. So they don't even have to look like a real flower, guys. These would be awesome to do. So let's try this on Thursday. I'm going to put this to the side. So I know that's what we're going to do. Now, I just got this book. I love this type of art. It's a little bit more uh, folk art, I guess you could say. Uh, a screenshot. I screenshot that book, LOL. Oh, <laughs> You're going to get it, Devin? Oh, are you on a no buy still or um, a low buy? <laughs> I love it when people say, I'm a, on a low buy. <laughs> low to what's who's um, standard. <laughs> Good. You know, this has got some beautiful, and it's mixed media. So that's probably why I like it so much. A very simple um, birds. A lot of doodling, using uh, ephemera, even um, leaves and that type of thing. Uh, looking at, look, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's so cool. Right, look at that. I really, this really sparks me. There's something about it that I really love. Maybe it's the simplicity of it. I just really like this. I'm trying to be on a no buy, but low buy sounds more reasonable. I agree. <laughs> I see that on uh, YouTube all over the place. Low buy. Because it's too hard to go no buy. To go low buy. Kind of um, symbolism in it too. You could. It kind of reminds me of those um, little landscapes with the hills and the little bunny that I did. And I love doing those. It's kind of that vibe. I'm going to have to do some of these, too. I just, I don't know. There's something about them. I love them. I think they're so cute. So it's basically a standard bird shape, and you just fill it in. And fish. There's collage you can add to it. 
<laughs> he added a map as the wing. That's cute. And a little collaged. I, lo I love this type of collage. And that's what I, I'm trying to get into my um, sketchbook. More like this type of thing. So I do like that. Because each thing could represent something. <laughs> you want this book too. Put it in your cart. Like, look at this. This is cool too. I think they're so cool. And then they get, I think she gives you, yeah, look, see, shows you how to, oh, these are cute. Look at that. They made the little birds out of um, pictures from magazines and then painted on them. That's awesome. I like that. And she just painted the little feet. Hey, Xandra. I want to start doing more collage with my gel prints. Yeah. You can do so much with those gel prints. I like mixing it up. Collage and, and um, gel prints. I like this type of thing where you're you're making the collage but still painting on top of it is what I like. Or use parts of your own old journals. Maybe there's certain ones that you really like. Make photocopies of them and use them in your new. Now this is cute. So the um, paint swatches and then she uses a white paint to make a... Uh, that's cute. Those would make really co cool um, little journal cards. What's the name of this book? Birds and Watercolor Collage and Ink. It's an awesome book. So we'll have to uh, venture into some of this. I'll have to make some prints or some uh, traceables for you guys. Or you could try it yourself. It's just a free paint swatch. So if you wreck it, oh well. You can always get more. Look at this. Just the white on top of that is gorgeous. Love it. Oh, and then the black bird. So simplicity is minimal. Um, I seem to like that. There she's got some. Um, ones that you could use. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm using ink. So just a few colors. You know what this would be good for? is using those color blocks. You know, the, um, I've got one. I don't know where it is right now. You know, the cubes where the colors swatch? The, this is what would be uh, cool to use this for. Butterflies, collage paper. Oh, and then she gives you a bunch of collage papers to use and they're perforated. So there you go. You don't even have to uh, worry about finding stuff. She's already providing it for you to use. Cool. Isn't that neat? Well, that's cute. A little um looks like a little pencil case. That's sweet. Awesome book.
This one I got used. Um, she's got a couple of, of them out. One called If You Can Cut, You Can Collage, Handmade Collage, The Drawing Club, and Once Upon a Piece of Paper. Hmm. I'll have to look that one up. <laughs> That's terrible. Eh? Oh, let's put that one over here. All right. And then, of course, we have, if you're uh, more into the drawing, your day type of thing, I like this book gives you some ideas on how to fill your page with trying to illustrate your day. This is a really good book. She has a couple books out. Um, just the fact, I just love it as idea book, basically. And showing that it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to... Um, you know, be a landscape and you can't put anything else on the landscape. No, you can use all kinds of stuff. There's a coffee and a bike and a door, but she's also written on it. And I like how she changes the font size also, which makes the difference in your, on your uh, page. So I study stuff like this, like, large colorful print a little bit smaller real small uh, maybe even um, more writing style and printing style but it gives it interest so these are the things i look at when i get books like this look at that so she does have quite a few books or two or three books, I think. I have my granddaughter. I should put that up there so I know where it is. Okay. Also, don't discount your coloring books. I have a ton of coloring books that are awesome for inspiration. You want something to draw? Get your coloring book out. I have all kinds of different, but this one's different flowers of the year. You want to draw something? You don't know, you can't make your mind up what you want to draw, or maybe you're sitting there, eh, I don't want to draw that. Oh, I don't feel like drawing that. <laughs> Anybody who who feels that way, just open a book and go to a page and that's it. That's the thing you're going to draw. That's what I like to do. And then I'm never without something to draw. Yeah, isn't that a pretty coloring book? Um, Leela Dully? I can't I I don't remember where I got this. I don't know if it's 9.99 pounds. Um she does have a website. I'm not sure if you can get this on Amazon or not. She, there's a few of these. Out. Also, Dover has all kinds of these books. And this one has a CD so you can actually print it out. Uh, I never seen a hard cover coloring book. Before. Oh yeah, there's a few of them out there. Uh, bird book on Amazon Canada. Oh, awesome, uh, Devin. Thanks for putting that in. So these are great if you want to learn how to draw botanicals or if you just want to print some out. Or it comes with a CD. And I know your computers don't have um, CD-ROM anymore drives. But you can get um, one to connect to your... So it's an external CD drive. And they're only like 30 bucks. So that's what I have. 
So these are all um, botanicals um, from 1800s. So lots and lots of different botanicals here. These are great. And there's there's tons of these. You can also go on um, Dover and get uh, free digital downloads from their website. And these are all royalty-free images, so you can use them in your books. So as you can see, there's more and more stuff that you can be um, inspired by. And another inspiration book, Daphne's Diary. It just isn't a magazine to read. A lot of people use these to make junk journals. Awesome idea. Also, study how they've put their book and pages together. This is what I do. <laughs> I know I may be crazy, but so I look at things like this. I look, okay, it's a beautiful cake and they like to put a lot of borders around. Me not have anything to do with the cake, but it's pretty. I love the fact that they um, overlap drawings over top of your photographs. Add a little sprig of flower in a background. These are the things you can do in your junk journals. So really study these books. And a lot of times you can, uh, if you like something in them that Maybe you like, I don't know, maybe you like this flower. Well, why not draw it and paint it the way they did? So if you have these, you could draw and paint something like the top here on your um, sketchbook. Look at the font. Try and draw that. And this is a really cute idea. Little border. So those are the things I look at, like this thing here. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to illustrate a mood or a um, something that somebody's doing. So this can give you some ideas too. So maybe uh, you need a relaxing day. So how would you do that? This would represent a, a relaxing day, having a foot massage and whatever. I've fallen down a bird book hole. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> like this, too. Cute little figures. There's something to draw. Um, so these are awesome books, and you can get these um, in Canada and the U.S. Uh, I think the page is in here somewhere. Let's see. There is a... I don't see it. There's a website that sells these. Where is it? Um, hmm. I don't remember what it was called. There is a place, if you go on the Daphne's Diary um, subscriptions, it'll give you a website to go to if you're in the United States or Canada. And it's a whole lot cheaper than getting it directly from their website because you have to pay duty and um shipping costs so you're paying more than what the book is worth if you do it that way but if you go through this um, website there I believe these were $12 and that's delivered okay 
another thing to get inspiration is children's books. If you like illustrative type of um, art, or you find a book that you like the composition, you like how they um, illustrate different moods or different happenings, then look through those. This is a beautiful book. So it gives you a map. I love this book because it's got little hidden areas. See? So it shows a little as of the woods and the door. And then it shows. So it gives you ideas of how to do your own journal. Isn't that cool? I just love these. I think this was a beautiful book. So you could get great ideas off of this book. Beautiful. And then you got a little opened area. I like how they incorporate it into both sides. That's what I like. Sometimes you get um, uh, not sure what to do with the other side. This is cute, too. <laughs> little boathouse on the water there. There's a the little... He's going into the water. Isn't that cute? I just love this book. I think it's so cute. And it's multi-purpose. You, you could um, read it to your kids or your grandkids. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Another idea. All right. Now, the other thing I like to get inspired by Maybe you're trying to find your own style. Maybe you're bouncing back and forth in different things. So when you're looking at sketchbooks or um, on YouTube, different artists, uh, can you show the cover of that? Yep. Um, I like to get their more or less sketchbook or book of their art type of thing. So the latest one I got is this one. I love this type of art. <laughs> it's a little freaky, but the imagination is what blows me away. And I want to get more into the I love fairies and all that type of thing this will help you think outside that the box to draw your own or paint your own type of things you tend to draw a lot of whimsical birds in, oh cool you probably like this then <laughs> it's really cool so it's all his sketches and paintings and thing I, I like about it is he's mixed um, the human, animal, and machine together. Let's see. So, <laughs> and it may not make sense, but I think it's cool. That's his stuff from when he was a kid. <laughs> it's a nice big book. I like a look at this. I think this is cute. So some little weird type of creature. And if you really look at it and study it, 
It's got little tentacles on there, little bunny ears, a tail. And then it's got little wheels hooked to his, its arms. And then the light. So he's going to look into a, a mailbox. Like, <laughs> I love this type of stuff. So it gives them almost a personality. Look at these little cans and stuff. Have little legs. It's a projector, I guess. He's eating it. There's what's showing. Look at this. <laughs> I think it's so cool. I don't know. Maybe you guys don't like this type of thing. I think it's awesome. I just, I'm just looking at it in thinking about what an awesome way of thinking. Like, I would love to know how long it took him or what his um, creative process of, of, of mind mapping is. Yeah, kind of like a Doctor Who or Dr. Seuss. <laughs> it's, I think it's cool. Using, there's a, a telephone dial. Like, the bird. It's kind of steampunkish, too. I just love it. I think it's so cool. So he's got a ton sketches and paintings I love this type of book some of it can be dark but I like a lot of it So that's that one. Then, of course, Xander's here. The Dark Crystal Beastery. <laughs> I love this. I love this type of art. I'm into the fairies and goblins and all that type. He has quite a few other books on Amazon. Oh, does he? Awesome. So love anything um, to do about <laughs> little monsters or fairies or trolls or whatever it is. This is a really cute book. I like it. Awesome drawings. And I like the fact that it's got this type of script also. Just gives the book a neat feeling when you're... So look, I love... How they transform and and how she tries to find a way of drawing things. Um, this one, Iris Compet Compet, I think is her name. She ha does have a YouTube channel, and she has shown how she comes about finding these creatures and it's scribbles that she does on pieces of paper and then in those scribbles she sees faces and she and she draws them out so this is very loose watercolor and, and colored pencil and ink so it's a beautiful book i like this type of thing maybe you don't maybe you like more of the um, pretty stuff. <laughs> it's I. I just love it. I want to do some more of these. And she gives stories about them too, which is cool. <laughs> this guy. That's funny. <laughs> guy 
<laughs> Peeper beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, I think you might like the big king, the bird king. Oh, awesome. Thanks for leaving the link. I'll go and check that out afterwards. Have you got this one, Zandra? This is so awesome. I love this. They're not like really, really detailed. They're quick sketches. <laughs> A little grumpy bird. I think they're cool. So these are more like little beasties. I've had this one for a while. Uh, you don't? Oh, I have one that you don't? Good heavens. You're, you're, you're lagging there, girl. <laughs> um, some of you may have seen this one. I think I showed this one a few streams at back at the very end you may not have seen it um beautiful beautiful sketches in this this is his sketches for a year you know and it's all girls um very colorful i do love his work Some of them are um, more like weird, monstrous type of things, but there's some really pretty ones like that. Look at this one. I love that. But I like the simplicity of his uh, watercolor. So I'd like to try some of these too. I like too much is my problem and I want to uh, do it all. So beautiful, beautiful. He's got a couple books. Now you can't get this on Amazon. You have to go to the website uh, where I got it. Beautiful book. And two, you get ideas when you look through books like this of um, composition, color, um, different subject matter, and how he intertwines them. So you look, really study them. Like Also, a lot of these have emotion, and that's what really boosts your drawings up when somebody's looking at them is does it have a story a story or emotion does it give you something or give that viewer something instead of just being static it's just black and white but it's gorgeous I uh, have to go to work now. Bye. Bye, Julie. Thanks for popping in. Have a good day. My problem, too, I want to do too much and end up doing nothing. Yeah, I know exactly how you feel, Barbie. I do that, too. And I think the way you get around that is limit what is out on your table or wherever it is that you're um, doing your creativity. Because if you have too much out on your desk, then you become overwhelmed and you're not sure whether, you, you know, say you have watercolor, you have acrylic, you have colored pencil out on your desk and you're not sure what you want to do. 
if that's your problem as far as mediums, what medium you want to tackle, then just pick one medium for that month or that week. And if it's um, finding something to do as far as subject matter, then get books like this. Get a minimum of three that you really, really resonate to. And then just open a page, look at it, and do it. And then you can also, if, if you say I opened my page to this, I could make a mind map for this. What do I like about it? What don't I like about it? What colors would I change? Do I like all the colors? Then my map different things. And then go ahead and, and do it. Can you show this cover again? Yep. Uh, it's by them. You go on their website, you'll find him. It's one year of drawing by moon. He's got a couple of these books out. Now they're not cheap. I'll warn you that. But I think they're worth it. And I like supporting artists. Um, by helping them with their publications. Uh, let's see. Okay. Then there's stuff like this, Nature's Sketchbook. Um, if you're wanting to, to learn how to sketch, she has a bunch of these books out. These are older books, I think. Let's see. This is I bought this one secondhand. Uh, it's actually signed. And this one's 1994. But beautiful, beautiful watercolors. Again. What do I do with them? If I want something in particular, I want to sketch or learn how to uh, paint in watercolor, I'll pick some of this. Or get ideas for a composition. So look at this. This is beautiful. So I don't have to do the exact same thing, but it gives me an idea. So you change, change it up a bit. And maybe it won't be uh, snowdrops. Maybe it'll be uh, daffodils or narcissus or um, mascari, that type of thing. And maybe it'll be pencils or a shovel in here instead of paintbrushes or, you know. There's many ways you can change it up, but you still have that idea. Same with this. You could still do the bee. You could have something else in there. Also, I love the way she does her little trim and border in a kind of uh, different colors. I like the way she does her writing around flowers. Maybe you're doing a botanical um, journal. These are things that you can um, do. Get ideas from how to demonstrate. Put compositions together. She has quite a few of these books. I'm like, isn't that cute? I love this. This is an artist for sure. Little paint brushes and pencils and stuff in there. That is so cute. Look at this too. Little rope around a pencil. It's part of the border. Little ideas. She's got quite a few. Um, I'll show you. She does have a coloring book out. That's awesome. So 
check her out. I think this is the uh, I buy three hundred sixty five. Okay, thanks, Devin. Um, this is the Posh coloring book by her. Awesome book. If you want to do some coloring or um, watercolor. Now it's in a lighter um, print instead of black lines, which I like. Because then you can do watercolor or pencil and not worry about the black lines. And she gives you a reference of each one. As you can see, these coloring books I have not colored in because they're reference books to me. Love these books. Mm, all kinds. Beautiful, beautiful. And you could, if you wanted to, you could frame these. Let's cut them out. Get two. I think uh, quite a few people have this one. I remember when it first came out that everyone was buying them. But love. Oh, there's another, another one. Where is it? That's the cute little paintbrushes. Oh, where did it go? Yeah, look at that. Isn't that sweet? little Christmas one. How can't you love that? <laughs> Have to go do some. All right, Devin, thanks for um, being here and modding. <laughs> I will watch the rest and we'll try not to spend too much. Good luck with that. <laughs> All right, now, this is another one. Just about sketching, exercise, um, different books, different sketchbooks, um, different way of sketching, different ways people do their books. Um, if you're into um, urban sketching, this is an awesome book. Gives you some ideas again on, um, you know, if you're you're struggling with color or maybe you're not sure about um, cross hatching, these books will help you. Or line work. Sometimes people aren't sure about line work. Composition, too, gives you an idea on, you know, what's working and what's not working. Could be maybe you're going to do a travel journal. Not sure how to go about it. There you go. Good book. So there's lots of different types of art journal books and urban sketching, painting, um, illustration, that type of thing. It all depends on, you know, what what's what do you tend to go towards? This is a beautiful book. I love this artist. She has a few books out, watercolor artists. Oh, her art is beautiful, and what she writes is beautiful. Um, this is about life, basically. So I just love her work. I love the softness of it, and 
I love how she does her faces. There's not much. It's very simplistic. And I think that's why I love it so much. Look at the little hearts. And again, emotion, and it tells a story. She doesn't really have to write anything. Look at that, the glow. This is a beautiful book to get for anybody. Um, the, it just brings back memories of your own life, the way she um, words it. Like, remember being curious. Like, that's so beautiful. I've got a few of her books. But, you know, is this the style you would like? Or maybe you want something else maybe you like a little more abstract i love this style i think it's awesome i think she's a fantastic artist <laughs> So beautiful. Very simplistic, though. It's all about the story and the emotion, which I love. I love this one. <laughs> it's so right on. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, so if you want a beautiful book with meaning and beautiful work, this is a gorgeous book. That's that one. And my last one. This one I just happened to come across. It was on sale for $6.99. And I love it because it's all his work. And it's all drawing. But again, it gives... Um, Gives you ideas on how to represent um, different things that are happening. So the whole thing, and then it also, he writes down um, what it was about. And I love it. I think it's amazing. I don't know if you can get this book anymore. The whole thing is all his work. Through the different years, the depression and 40s, 50s, 60s. I think he. Uh, 1930s and 1940s. Like, it's got a story with each page, and it's amazing. It's really, really look at it if you're struggling with how to illustrate something that's happening this is an awesome book so you can always change up the uh, style or i even like the style as it is i think it's cool
And it just keeps more and more like it's just, and I love the faces, how he does. And everything's very simple. Very sketchy. It's not a, you know, full on um, portrait drawing. It's very sketchy. Something to study for sure. Um, okay, the moon book is coming from Europe. <laughs> you bought it. You'll love it, Barbie. And we'll be about 58 to the state soon. Sorry, I got rabbit hole. <laughs> it's all right. I know. It's a beautiful book. Like, uh, there's so many books that are, you know, I don't have a lot, like, not like Dee Dee, Dee Dee Willingham, but every once in a while I'll splurge on a more expensive book. But now I don't know if you can get this one. Uh, this one was, I don't even know if it got, hmm, I don't see any copyright even. Yeah, but that's what it is if you want to see if you can hunt it down for awesome drawing. Awesome book. All right, so I think that's it as far as I can. Well, I have a ton of more books I could bring out, but um, that's it for now. And I'll let you, I don't want to have you all go broke <laughs> no didn't buy it that was a bit too pricey for oh okay now well, save your pennies up and make it a little reward for you in later on Dee, Dee has two libraries <laughs> not one <laughs> she has two she could open a bookstore i swear um, all right, so I will let you go. And next, I'm hoping Thursday we'll um, venture into one of this, probably this one here, and um, do one of these, and you can join me making these gorgeous flowers, more of an abstract. But I love them. I think we, I think it'd be fun doing some of these. So look forward to that and we'll see you on Thursday then. So take care and have a fantastic even, evening and we'll see you Thursday. I uh, will try having things ready. Enjoy. Awesome, Barbie. All right. We'll see you later. Have a good one.